I like this music. I like it. I don't know what it is, man. I really like this bumper music. Welcome it's, to the... It's the same song we use for uh, for Bigger Ten. It's is just it? a different part of the song. All right. Yeah. Well, I like this different part of the song quite a bit. All right. Welcome to this week's uh, Confidence Picks here on the Michigan Podcast Bigger Ten channel. Steve Dace here with Aaron McIntyre. We will go through another week as the Big Ten's trying to get all those buys out of the way before we get into the November rush to the championship. So we only have five games this week. But Aaron, before we look at this week's games, let's take a look back. Yes, and we've got an update on the season as well. You went 5-0-5 last week, Ohio State, Iowa, Michigan. You just went 5 for 5 <laughs> I went not for 5 for 5 I got Ohio State, Wisconsin. Missed Rutgers because I'm fading Michigan State. Got Michigan. And uh, I, my, my emotional hedge, Penn State over Iowa at the one spot fell. You'll, t- you'll take that L, though. Yeah, I'll, t- I'll take that L any day. Means you ended up on the week with 15 points. I ended up with 11 on the season. You're at 305. I'm at 289. So it's a 16 point game halfway mm. through the season. And we're get, when we get in November and everybody's playing every week, and all these top 10 teams are going to be playing each other every week. It's going to be fun. There's going to be a lot of high variance. So yep. I think I need to build up maybe pad my lead a little bit more to feel truly safe for that stretch run. I, I you know what. You know what? I, I agree as well. I think this could be interesting going down the stretch. Well, let's get to this week's picks again. Just like last week, we've only got five games. I'll start. Iowa over Purdue is my five-point game, but I expect this to be a dogfight for a while. Yep. Um, if you look at, there's two things Purdue does well. Uh, they've got two pro edge rushers. One of them, Carl Aftis, might be a first-round draft pick. So the ability to get some pressure on Petrus, I think, can make it could could make this interesting. Here's the other thing, and this is this has really been true really since Joe Tiller arrived um, and then started taking on Kirk Ferentz and Norm Parker's defense originally. The dink and dunk patient kind of passing game that Iowa forces you into that makes a lot of teams That's uncomfortable. They so they try forcing the ball down the field into Iowa's coverages, right? That's Purdue's base offense, man, right? It's like we're going to talk about Wisconsin Army here in a minute. If, if, it, if it weren't for the fact Graham Mertz is still the Wisconsin quarterback, I'd have put like my house on that game because the one thing Wisconsin does elite is stop the run. What's the only thing Army does? Run. Run, right? Okay, so that kind of makes sense, right? But in this game, it is the one thing Purdue does very well. It's They're in their happy place just dinking and dunking the ball all over the field. So that's why they've had a lot of success over the years, including years where they weren't even that good. They've had a lot of success over the years against this Iowa defense. So it's going to be my five-point game, but I – I think this is going to be more like a Colorado State Iowa game mm-hmm. than some kind of 34 to 10 kind of a game. My four point game is the aforementioned Wisconsin over Army. If Wisconsin was not playing with 10 guys on offense, this would have been my five point game. I just think this is a very, very bad matchup for Army. Uh, they're, they're going up against right now what ranks as one of the best rush defenses in recent memory in the Big Ten Conference. My three point game, I'm going to take Rutgers over Northwestern. I will tell you, these next three games, I'm not confident in them at all. That's why I'm glad only a combined six points is riding on these picks. I'm going to go Wisconsin against, uh, or I'm sorry, Rutgers over Northwestern. Wouldn't shock me at all, though, Northwestern with the great Pat Fitzgerald in a week off, recognizing, hey, man, this might be the only one we get. We better get it, right? Okay? And, And Rutgers has played three weeks in a row, Michigan, Ohio State, and Michigan State. That has to beat your football team up a little bit. Mm-hmm. In fact, the more I think about it, the more I'm talking to myself and do, I should have taken Northwestern. Okay? My two-point game is Nebraska over Minnesota. I don't get – to me, this game's 37-17 Nebraska or, or 24-20 Minnesota. Very high-variance game. If you've got your William Hill Caesars app and you can do alternative spreads – where you can bet, you know, Minnesota as a six-point favorite or something at plus 280, I'd look at it. Because I do think this game has an extreme amount of variance. Where is the psyche of the Nebraska team? Are they at their eye of the tiger, us against the world, this cannot happen to us again moment? If so, then they will be too athletic for Minnesota. But if they're like... How does this keep happening it's to us again? Minnesota still has enough of a culture. We saw with the way they responded on the road against Purdue two weeks ago, especially coming off a bye, that they can win this game. So just not confidence, a high-variance game. My one-point game is a game a lot of people look at and just think it's too easy. See, that's why I'm going the other way. As we said on the Bigger Ten show this week, Aaron, this is your Chris Felica the Bear, that line stinketh of the week. Indiana. 
opened only a field goal underdog to Michigan State with a backup quarterback, Michigan State in the top 10. And let, I mean, come on, man. This is Bloomington, Indiana. This ain't like one of the snake pits of college football. You're, you don't just roll into Bloomington, right? I mean, come on. So, and, and the line's been heavily bet up. It's still just four and a half. If that had been the opening line, we would have thought, wow, that's a low number. That looks short. That just strikes me as somebody knows something I don't know. So I'm going to put one point on the Hoosiers to pull the upset. Very well said. I have the exact same picks as you, just in a different wow. order. Wow. And I did these again before I even yeah, saw Yeah, we don't your... see each other's picks ahead of time. Yeah. Uh, so I've got Iowa over Purdue at the five spot, although I agree with your with your analysis. I, I will say I'm, I, I'm not super confident in the quarterback for Purdue, but I agree um, Purdue under Jeff Brom has just had Iowa's number. So I, I'm not, I'm not in a, in a, in a given week, if this was like seven, eight, nine games playing, you know, so in right. the big 10, I would still put this at five, but because the slate of the games is what it is, I, I'm putting this at the five this week at the four spot. I have, I'm actually pretty confident in Nebraska at Minnesota. Uh, I, I think they are going to be able to, to eke this one out. Uh, four and a half points on the road against a, a divisional team. Uh, if you're in Nebraska and you've had the season that you've had, you know what? I, I like their I like their possibility. I, I like their uh, I, I like their chances uh, against Minnesota, even on the road. At the three spot, um, trying to be a little bit aggressive here. I've got Indiana over Michigan State as well. I, I think that line only because the line stinks, as you said. That's basically my only reason. Also, I'm fading yep, that's Michigan That's my only State. handicap. Yep. Yes. Uh, number two, I've got Rutgers over Northwestern. Not at all confident in this game, but I'm more confident than I am <laughs> Wisconsin over Army. Wow. There's something about this that just stinks to me as well. Uh, Wisconsin, I, their defense is their calling card. Their run-stuffing defense is their calling card. But... I'm not sure I've seen Wisconsin for a while against a triple option team. We'll see how they they handle that. I, I just I, something about this stinks to me. Uh, so I've got that at the one spot. I you know the dude code compels me to keep my picks as I submitted them. But by the time I got done discussing that Rutgers Northwestern yep. game, I, I've now talked myself into that when my point spread picks come out on the Patreon page here on on Thursday or Friday. Don't be shocked if you actually see me pick Northwestern because yeah. I think yeah. I talked myself into it by noting Rutgers has played arguably the three best teams in our league, three of the top 10 teams in the country, three weeks in a row. And Northwestern's coming off a bye. And you know that those guys know that uh, that this might be the only Big Ten game they can win this year, right? So we'll see. All right, Aaron, uh, I guess we'll find out uh, again whether I can hold on to my lead or you end up making up ground. So... Uh, That'll do it for this week's Confidence Picks. We'll be right back here on the channel next week with Michigan Podcast, Bigger 10, and more. For Aaron McIntyre, I'm Steve Dace. We'll see you then.